Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am with Mike Mansuetti, the president of Robert Bosch North America. Hi, Luann. Good morning. I just saw some figures that Werner Struth put up. And automobiles, connectivity. Yeah. When you when you put those figures up, it was forty billion in revenue from mobility. That's mm -hmm. about eight times more, seven eight times more right. than any other segment that you have that you're working on. Yeah. Currently, overall globally, mobility represents about sixty five percent of our total global sales, and that's similar also in North America, at sixty five to seventy percent. So strategically, we've always wanted to diversify the company and to reduce that share to around fifty percent. And with the announcement today of the consolidation or the takeover of Bosch Siemens household appliances with that 100% consolidation, that will help us in achieving this diversification. So, but for mobility solutions, for example, that now includes things like the e-bike. So we just launched the e-bike last year and that's available now in the U.S. and selected markets. And then I think now with automated driving coming uh, and you know more and more people are talking about connectivity with applications like the MySpin that we have out on the market and then with connected driving and automated driving and then fully automated driving. Uh, that's where we want to start also leveraging our brand uh, because we're enabling those technologies together with our, with the, with our partners, the, the automakers. It only makes sense that you could have a car that would go park itself. Right. How, do, how does that become a reality with all of the security, all the hacking that could take place between the time you let your car off and the time it parks itself? A lot of these functions are built upon a strong foundation, which we have, uh, let's say, built over the years with our powertrain and chassis systems and electronics components. So, and as Werner mentioned, that will also come step by step. As we enable the technology and the co connectivity, when we talk about parking, we're also, you know, we need some con connectivity with the infrastructure because, especially in a parking garage, you're seeing garages starting to be lay out, laying, laid out with the connectivity feature that tells the car where an empty parking space is, and then it just navigates to that, and then using the sensing technology and the base functions, it can park itself. Next few years, we will see more and more of these types of features come onto the market as the technology continues to develop. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Thanks.